Oh, hey guys, didn't notice it started recording there. Um, so anyway, sorry for the little delay there between videos. Um, I actually logged off for a bit and I came back. This is like the second day of Terraria, that is. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off this episode and summon the second Eye of Cthulhu. So let's -a go. <laughs> Oh, B. Oops. Come on, come on, come get some. Come on. Okay. This fight isn't nearly as epic as the last one was. Critically because we're a lot stronger this time. Oh, that arrow just now came down that I shot out there like 30 seconds ago. Da -na 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 -na. Owie. Hey, come back here. Oh, ow. <sighs> Throwing knives. Here we go. Oi. Oh. Ow. Crap. I got a little bit more hurt than I expected I would. Ow. Stop. Stop it. Crap. Okay. He's almost gone. He's almost gone. And there we go. What a wonderful way start up the 21st episode of the series so that was much less of a rush than the first fight went was um let's just go ahead and craft up whatever the heck we can with this demonite why don't we it's a lot it's a lot 26 let's see what we can make with this War Axe of the Night. Go ahead and make that. Boom! And a Light Spain. Ooh, a pointy Light Spain. Okay. So, we're done with the Silver Broadsword. Done with the Copper Axe. Um, probably don't need this Demonite. Let's go ahead and deposit everything else. Oh, that's right. We have a second Magic Mirror that I can go ahead and sell. Okay, um, there was one more thing I wanted to do, that was make a home for the Dryad, so, okay, how about a proper intro this time, it's not really an intro anymore, but, oh no, it's shameful, shameful War Axe of the Night, um, so welcome to the first episode after our first boss fight in the series. Um, I was gonna make Eye of Cthulhu be the season finale, but I decided not to just because looks like we have more than enough time and I can do, how, how tall is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So. Okay, okay. So, I've decided I can probably do Eater of Worlds while I'm at it. Um, I won't be here Saturday, though, because I've got band competition. So, the season finale will probably be out by, um, I'd say Sunday. 
this episode segment should go up pretty soon as well. Okay, there we go. Got a little place place now. Let's kind of do this. Done. Oh, I have an idea. Let's make it a bit easier. Okay. Two doors. Uno e dos. Oops, why did I just throw a shuriken? Well, we are halfway to making the non-existent Knight's Edge, aren't we? Yeah. Um... Ah, oh, that's not gonna be enough. Okay, so... Plan... For this episode is probably going to be... Once I finish collecting... Ooh! Star. Once I finish, um, collecting some more wood, getting stuff situated up here at home base, probably gonna go do a little bit of work trying to get a gold pickaxe, just so that I can, um, mine out Ebonstone and get into the Corruption Chasms for the Eater of Worlds fight. And that fight, um, I'll probably do multiple fights of Eater of Worlds because I want to end this season getting shadow armor. That would really be something. Oops. I can fix that. Why the... Yeah. Okay, Silver Hammer, do your work. Hey. Just two more. One, two. This house should be finished by the time that the Dryad spawns in. That'll be luck. Go ahead and do that. I probably didn't even need. I, did, I probably didn't even need that much. Not at all. Hey, Tordak. You want wood walls? Oh, they have no value. Dang it. What else do I have here? Let's go ahead and eat a mushroom. And another tree bites the dust. I'll go ahead and replant them. It's, it's not like they're going to grow anyway by the time season two starts. Okay, wooden chair done. Let's go ahead and plant a chest down. Oh! Done! We have four NPCs right now. The Dryad should be spawning in anytime soon. Hold on, let me actually check this, if this housing is suitable. Yes. Okay. So, we can go ahead and sit here waiting for her, or go back down into the caves, collect a bit more gold. Oh, and I do want to show you guys that awesome little place that I found all the, that I found that heart, that I found those heart crystals in. I had to dig pretty deep. Now I feel strong, too. Look at me with my lights, Bane. This is a point. Oh, yeah, this... I think the... War Axe of the Night is actually worse 
in the light Spain because it has that shameful prefix. Why are there coins there? Probably from some creature I killed a while back. Hmm, she still hasn't spawned. Whatever. I know she will. She will spawn. Yes. Okay. Here we are. The cave. Down we go into the depth. And wait for that, and now just gotta jump down into that FPS boost land. There we go. Went up from 20 to 30. Goes down while I'm recording. Oh, there we go. Isis the Dryad has arrived. Isis. That's an Egyptian name. Or ancient Egyptian, at least. Great, so now I've got... Tordak the Dwarf, Kyle the Useless Guide, um, an Egyptian Dryad, we have Seymour the Merchant, and we have Kayla the Nurse. It's probably just one more NPC that I can get, maybe two, if, if a goblin invasion does happen before season one ends, and that'll be Arms Dealer. Ooh, we got a hook. Those are kind of useless now. We. Hmm. Any gold? No, I've been here, haven't I? That's probably why I'm not finding any gold. That. Oh, black slime. I saw PBAT's live stream of 1.2 earlier today. Or, well, I did see it the day of. I was just finishing up watching it today. Oh my god, I'm really excited for, like, everything that I saw in it. I saw more than I actually knew of. Like, clout, like, sandstone in a bottle lets you do a, like, an improved double jump or something. Um, there's more zombie like skin variants. There, there was the female zombie that Senx Senex made. Um, and there were a few more. There was like this weird alien faced zombie.